Right, hi everyone. It's another beautiful day here in, in the Eastern Cape. Um, yeah, so we're heading to that bridge over there in the background. Uh, just to give you a little bit of background, we're at Van, Van Stadens. As you can see, there's the gorge there, Van Stadens River Gorge. That is the railway bridge. Um, it's the highest narrow gauge railway bridge in the world. Okay, so we're gonna see if we can cross that over to the to the other side. We're on a beautiful hiking trail out here. As you can see, there we go, there's the trail that we've come from. And we are heading to the bridge. We're gonna do two geocaches, one one on this side and one on the other side. Um so we'll see how my fear of heights is gonna go. <laughs> Uh, if I can conquer that uh, today, today. So this is the second highest railway bridge in South Africa, but it's the highest narrow gauge railway bridge in the world. A um, little bit of history. We'll do a post around this and we'll give you all the historic facts and uh, and the stats and everything, a little bit of history of the train that ran here. It's not in use anymore, um, unfortunately. There's a whole lot of politics behind it. But uh, it's a beautiful little train running to the Long Kloof. Uh, used to run there and bring back all the fruit. So apples, pears, some citrus from the Hunters Valley all the way to Port Elizabeth for export. Um, I'll show you a little bit more hopefully when I get to the bridge and if my fear is not too bad um, So I'll see you on the other side Cheer Right so here we are there's the overgrown track you can see clearly how overgrown it is That's very sad it was once a very active railway line and if we just turn around this way you'll see look at that gorge it's amazing beautiful blue skies today and there we go there's the bridge to about 200 meters to the other side so the other cache is on the other side um, it does look a bit rusty there's signs up here saying no walking on the bridge. As you can see, it's rusted all the way through. Just to give you a little bit of whew, my fear, but there we go. All the way down there. I don't know if you can get a clear view. If you look at through the slats, the sleepers, it's very rusted. There's some pieces missing in the middle as well. Uh, Yes, so we've decided not to tempt fate. You need the permit as well to walk on these trails, which we have not obtained yet. So we're going to head back, get the permit, drive to the other side. Okay, around there, if you look at that, there's Van Staden's Bridge. Okay, they also call it the, the Bridge of Death, it used to be called. People... Uh, Took their own lives there, jumped from the bridge quite often. Uh, they've put some railings on there, so that's the highway, the N2 on that side. So we're going to head across there all the way around to the other side of the bridge. Call us crazy, call us scared, whatever you want to, but uh, we'd rather be safe than sorry. Um, there you go. So we'll see you on the other side and show you a bit more once we are there. Okay, so we're conquering the fear. There's quite some stuff missing on the bridge. I'm trying not to look down. It's hectic. Okay, stuff is rusted. It's rusted right through, taking it slow, but also trying just to focus and get to the other side. Right, some courage needed for this today. So we made it to the other side, 
you can just see that piece of engineering out there it's incredible beautiful there's a couple of trails going down here it's not so clear but you can go all the way along the gorge there's pools down at the bottom the rivers flowing um, beautiful day for a hike just look at that highest narrow gauge, bridge, narrow gauge bridge in the world.